Welcome to Vision Academy. This is a second video in time series analysis. In this video, I will tell you how to solve a problem in simple moving average method. Along with that, you will also understand what is simple moving average method and uh, merits and demerits of it. Let us know what is simple moving average method. In this method, we will firstly make a group for making an average from the given observation in the problem. In that group, we will see similarity between each group, which means we may calculate 3 years moving average, we may calculate 4 years moving average, we may also calculate 5 years moving average method. Say for example, if you are calculating for 3 years moving average method, we will consider first 3 observation and we will take a centered average of those 3 observation and for next group, the first oldest value will be replaced by the next value in the series. Say for example, if we have 6 values, 6 observation in the problem. For first group, we will consider first 3 observation if it is 3 years moving average. And second, for second group, we will discard first observation and we will consider second, third, fourth observation for the second group. And this goes on till the observations are exhausted. For this process, we call this as moving average. Since we take average in this group, also we will uh, go on moving by discarding oldest value. So we will call this as moving average method. And always we will take cent of the observation. So this is very simple to understand. Now let us see merits of moving average method. In this slide you can see merits of moving average method and also you can see here demerits of moving average method. In this video I am going to solve a problem using simple moving average method. Then let us see the methods of moving average method. In moving average method we do have two types of moving average method. One is equal, equal weight moving average method. One more is unequal weight moving average method. In the simple moving average method, we will give equal weight to all the observation given in the problem. So that's very simple. And in the case of weighted, which means unequal moving average method, we will give different weight to different observation given in the problem. So in this video, I am going to explain equal weight or simple moving average method. Then let us see what is simple moving average method. In this method, we very simply find the simple moving averages of the time series data given in the problem over m periods. This is also called m period moving averages. So how do we calculate uh, equal weight moving average or simple moving average method is firstly we need to calculate the average of first m values. Here m is maybe 3 years moving average method based on 3 years we will make a group that group is termed as m. After finding first m values of the time series data, we will discard the first value in the observation and take the average of next m values again. As I told you, if you have 6 observations for first m values, we will consider first two, first 3 observation 1, 2, 3. And for next m values, we will discard first value and for next m value, we will consider second, third and fourth values and this process will be repeated until all the observation all the data are exhausted so once we repeat all this step we will find a new time series of m period moving average method then let us solve a problem on equal weight or simple moving average method here you can find a problem in this problem you need to calculate that you need to compute three years simple moving averages for the given time series data the data is about an annual output of a factory from 1976 to 1981. For 6 period, you have time series data and also output of for each period also you have given. For this, well, let us calculate simple moving average. Firstly, let us have a working note on the given problem. In this problem, they have asked us to compute 3 years moving average. So in this case, m is equal to 3 years. Then let us calculate first value using this uh, 3 years moving average method. In the left side, you can see the problem given uh, given problem here you can see. Now let us find out the first value. As it is 3 years moving average method, we will consider first 3 values 17, 22 and 18 into the data set. 
so 17 22 and 18 will be 57 since we are getting average we will divide that by n number of n number of n in this case is 3 57 by 3 is 19 and we have obtained first value let us consider second value in the for this uh, data set as we explained in steps after having first m values we have to discard oldest value in this case for second value oldest value is 17 we will discard 17 for second value calculation so we will consider for second value 22 18 and 26 this accounts for 66 since we are considering 3 years moving average method and we have considered only 3 values we will divide 66 by 3 so second value is 22 and I will discard oldest value that is 22 for a third value and I will only consider 18, 26 and 16 for third value calculation now we also obtain a third value for this uh, using uh, 18, 26 and 18 which total for 60 by 3 which is 20 value third value is 20 and we will repeat this uh, same procedure for rest of the values until all values are exhaust so let us find out fourth value also we can find out fourth value for fourth value we have to discard the old, uh, oldest value we have considered in third value that is 18 we will discard 18 uh, for fourth value and we will consider 26 16 and 27 which is totaled 69 by 3 so fourth value is 23 by this way we have calculated first value second value and third value and fourth value and we are unable to calculate further values because if we want to calculate fourth or fifth value we have to discard 26 from the data set if we discard 26 we are not going to have a three years moving average method three years moving because only we have only two values so this is ultimate calculation and now let us see moving average of the time series data in the left side you can see values different values from the working note that is first value second value third value and fourth value here we are going to insert the value to the center of simple moving average which means for first value we have considered these three values so center of these three value is this so that is 19 is inserted in uh, 1977 and for second value the three datas are considered these three datas are considered and so for second 22 is centered for 1978 and for third value we have uh, considered 18 26 and 16 uh, and centered value of 22 uh, yeah of third value is 1979 and for fourth value we have considered 26 16 and 27 so for this we will have centered value is 1980 so first value second value third value and fourth value we have inserted in the simple moving average method since we are working on trend let us see the trend uh, trend before simple moving average method and after simple moving average method here you have a, con a comparison chart so this is a three years moving average of the given time series this curve belongs to given time series data here there is a huge variation the variation is filtered using simple moving average method so we obtained four new values one is this and uh, second one is this and fourth one is this and uh, uh, sorry third one is that and fourth one is this so how do we interpret is before we apply simple moving average method there was a huge volatility in the uh, given time series data after we applying simple moving average method we have filtered filtered that variation which means we have smoothed the given time series data that is how simple moving average method works here as i told you you can see here a variation in the sim moving averages is less than the data values because they have been smoothed they, they have been filtered which is the effect of irregular component available in the time series data for the given data of original time series varies between 70 to 27 here you can see 70 to 27 variation exists whereas the moving average when we apply simple moving average varies between 90 to 23 here 90 to 90 to 
23 which is much smoother much much more smoother than original series now i will consider one more problem in simple moving average method in this problem i am going to solve four years simple moving average method it is quite different than three years simple moving average in this problem we have a data time series data of sales volume of a company for the period 2011 to 2020 so obviously as we did in the three years more simple moving average method we also gonna calculate in in this four year simple moving average method as i told you already how to calculate for first value we need to consider four values four values that is 12 13 15 and 18 for second value we have to consider another four values after discarding oldest value in the data set and for third for third value we need to consider one more new value after discarding oldest value and and again so on it goes like that it goes like this so it goes like that we will uh, discard one value and we will consider one more value into data set into the data set so anyhow it must satisfy four years it must involve four values until all values exhaust so let's have a calculation for this as i have selected in this problem as i told you in this case m is equal to four years which means four years simple moving average method so i have selected first value for first value 12 13 15 18 12 13 15 18 will be 58 so we, we have added four values so it will be divided by four only then average of first value is 14.5 and let us find out second value for f of this data set for second value i will discard first value first data that is 12 and i will consider 13 15 18 and 20 into account which accounts for 66 and it will be divided by 4 so second value for the given data set is 16.5 and also i the calculation procedure will repeated until all values exhaust in the data set so for third value i have discarded first two values and i have considered 15 18 20 21 into account which accounts for 74 and it will be divided by 4 so third value is 18.5 and let us obtain fourth value also for fourth value i have discarded first three values i have started from 18 18 20 21 25 which accounts for 84 and it will be divided by 4 because we have added 4 values and uh, fourth value is 21 so for fifth value the same thing will be repeated for fifth value also fifth value and sixth value and seventh value also procedure will be same for fifth value i am gonna consider 20 21 25 26 which is uh, total for uh, 92 and 92 divided by 4 it will be for fifth value is 23 and for sixth value i have also discarded one more value that is 20 and i have considered 21 25 26 and 29 which accounts for almost 101 by 4 which will be 25.525 and lastly for 7th value I have discarded 21 and I have considered 25, 26, uh, 29 and 30 which accounts for 110 and which will be divided by 4 so 5th 7th value is 27.5 so as the procedure according to the steps to obtain simple moving average method we have obtained new values new time series value now let us compare old time series value and new time series value so we have found that uh, old time series uh, using old time series value we have found new time series value this is the values from uh, working note so here how to plot that's very important because we have considered four values in the earlier example we had considered three values so first one last one will be uh, eliminated between that we have centered we had centered into the say, middle of the value but here for, for four we are considering four value so it is quite different for that i will show you 12 13 15 and 18 center of which is this and that value is 14.5 and next value 13 15 17 18 and center of this is this and again 15 18 21 20 21 center of this is is and again 18 20 21 25 center of this is is this two values to the above and two values to the below 
and again 20 21 25 26 center is this and 21 25 26 center is this and 25 26 29 and 30 and center is this so that four year moving average value you can see as i told you as i shown you here that's a first uh, center value of four year moving average is 14.5 which is obtained new time series and second one is 16.5 and third one is 18.5 fourth one is 21 and uh, fifth one is 23 sixth one is 25.25 and seventh one is 27.5 so this is how we will uh, insert the value in four years moving average to the cent we, we because uh, simple moving average method is also called as centered moving average method so now let us see the trend of this uh, old time series value and uh, new time series value because uh, we have filtered the variation uh, let us see the difference here the brown curve shows old time series value that is 12 13 15 18 20 21 25 26 29 and 30 and yellow curve shows new time series value that's newly obtained 14.5 16.5 18.5 21 23 25.25 27.5 you can see in the uh, old time series value there is a huge volatility and in the new time series value which is smoothened which is filtered in the new time series value the variation the vary is very less compared to old time series value so this is how we will uh, solve the uh, four years moving average method and uh, uh, three years moving average in uh, simple moving average method i have also these materials for preparing this video thank you so much for watching please do subscribe to my vision academy youtube channel